Hi, in this video, I'm looking at the arc length of a circle, and I'm going to do it in radians. So what we're looking at is if I've got a circle, hopefully one that's a better quality circle than that, and it's got whatever the radius R is, but we've then gone and rotated around the circle some distance and put on an angle in there. And I want to know what is the length of the circumference of just that bit. So we have our arc here. This is our arc. Well, this is our arc, I should say. The part of the circumference of the circle that we've rotated through by this angle. And we want to know how long it is. Now, if we do that in degrees, our arc length, which is usually denoted with the letter L, is... Well, the full circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, but we then work out what fraction of the circle we have, which in degrees is whatever angle I've rotated to through in degrees, divided by 360 degrees. But if we do the same in radians, I know that I've got 2 pi r, and I'm going to have whatever rotation I've gone through over 2 pi because I know that there's two pi radians in a full circle. And the benefit of this is that my two pi cancels out with my two pi. And so I'm left in radians just with the angle that I've rotated through times by the radius. And that's our rule, we have r theta. So in radians, because my angle is how far around the circle I've gone, it's my proportion of the circle, all I have to do is just multiply my angle times my radius, and I've got my arc length. So let's use that in an example. What if I have, say, a circle which has a radius of 10 centimeters, and we rotate through an arc of 5 pi over 6? How long is the arc length that we've generated? Well, all I have to do to work out this arc length is just do the radius times the angle. So my radius was 10 centimeters and I've got to multiply by my angle of five pi over six. And working this out, just tidying this up, that gives us a arc length of 25 pi over three centimeters. Whoops centimeters and that's it so we just needed to multiply the radius times the angle let's have a look say if our circle has a radius of 12 centimeters and i rotate through an arc length or i want an arc length of 25 centimeters what is the angle that i've got to rotate through that's going to enable me to do that. Well, if I use my rule, length equals r theta, I have the length to be 25, so I know that, and I've got my radius to be 12, I know that, and so I'm just multiplying by my unknown angle, which means if I divide both sides by 12, I get my angle to be 25 over 12 radians, or as a decimal, 2.0833, at least to four decimal places. And so that's it. Nice and quick. Radians make finding, finding the arc length very quick and easy, because all we have to do is multiply the radius we have through the angle that we've rotated.